Welcome to Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan, training you to lead with courage. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our podcast, Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pratan, each Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time. We are glad you are here. Today, I want to encourage you and challenge you in the same time that where you stand and why you are standing for will determine your freedom and your victory in life. Yes. There is a real spiritual battle, a war against us and for our souls. And where you stand and why you are standing for will make a big difference in your life, your family, your business, and for our country. Make no mistakes. Where you stand, your focus or your worship, if it's God or your profession or your career, money, position, that will become your worship. I am sharing with you from my own experience how freedom depends on where you stand and for what you stand for. Even under a totalitarian regime, as of dictator Nicolae Ceausescu in Romania, I lived free in God's freedom. You can read more in my memoir, Saving My Assassin, and hope you can be encouraged. And you can order a signed copy of Saving My Assassin as you go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. Be encouraged that God gets involved in your life or the hardship of your life if you let him. God has a purpose for freedom in your life. He has a mission for you. And God's purpose is greater than your life. His purpose is bigger than what you can imagine or dream about. Here is my outline of three steps that you can do to accomplish that. Number one, what you worship is your worship, your military, your equipment, your worship. So for that reason, worship Christ who died for you and set you free. Embark in Christ worship. He will make you more than a conqueror, will equip you to live for him in an God ungodly world and direct you and take you to his victory. For all of us reading the Bible and knowing God, we know that he commands us not to fear or worry. In fact, the phrase fear not is used at least 360 times in the Bible. You might wonder why. Because our God understands fear is natural for us, that we even have a tendency to submit to fear. Therefore, he tells us, for example, in Isaiah 43, 1, do not fear. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Isn't that beautiful? God reminds us that the enemy uses fear only to paralyze us, to decrease our hope in him, to limit our victories in him, and to keep us victims. The best way to conquer fear is to learn who we are, sinful and limited people in need of a Savior, our God, Christ, who is loving, caring, sovereign, and omnipotent. The better we know God, the less power fear has over us. As we finally not only understand but we experience God's constant love, strength, comfort, and his guidance. Overcome here by trusting God. 
and watch God's sovereign mercy in your life. Number two, our mistakes or our past can open our eyes to freedom. All the new events, even in the world, might point to that. The stunning victories of a truck driver Ed Durr and Marine Corps veteran Winsome Sears says a lot about the true nature of us as a great nation, as great people. But still, the Supreme Court will soon issue its most important decision on abortion in a generation. Arguments about race and gender are turning neighbors against neighbors. For the first time in the United States history, tens of millions of Americans are even open to the idea of secession. No matter what you think about this, what side you're on, uh, or how you see those events, we should be able to talk about them. No matter how emotionally distressed you might be, or how bold someone might present them, or they might sound to you at times. Especially right now, that Thanksgiving is coming and many of us will be around the table with relatives or friends with different kind of view or opinions than ours. We need to approach each issue as they are so important for us and for our success in protecting freedom or sharing freedom with others. We need to walk into the marketplace of idea humbly, but boldly in the same time, listening to understand even the most ferocious opponents of freedom or having an opposite idea than ours. It's time for us to go to the United States of America as we know it, a country of a community based on sharing ideas, questions, and more importantly, solutions. For that, our goal should be to win people, not arguments, to speak with them and not at them to share what we know and to learn what we can from them. It's time to sit together and see where we stand to keep America free for us and for generations to come. Number three, ask yourself, do you really live in freedom or by the freedom others will allow you to have. Freedom comes from God, not from government or any human being. Christ died for our freedom, so accept Christ's freedom, his advice and power for your life to live in real freedom and no matter your circumstances around you or around us. We serve a holy, trustworthy, caring, all-powerful, an unchanging God. His plans stand firm forever. Read, read Psalm 33. Let Christ guide you. His guidance and love will over, overcome your fear or the prison a government or another person desire to build for you to live in. Fear is nothing but darkness, uncertainty, and doubts that penetrates your mind and your life and your heart. God's truth and light will provide the right path and vision for you to follow him in freedom. Therefore, when you feel surrounded by fear, follow God's truth and light. His guidance that will direct you to freedom and to victory.
I assure you about that. Because when your fear meets God, fear disappears. We are saved in God's hands. We need God's daily guidance. Fear should not, should have no place in our hearts and mind as believers. But we know that we experience fear. Fear makes us discouraged or misunderstood. Often in life, we waver between faith and fear. That makes us feel that no one understands us in a time we think that not even God. But God knows and sees our fears and tears. And as we trust him, God increases our faith and our sphere of influence around us. So, trust in God, see his willingness and ability to deliver you completely from your fear or anxiety. His love and power will change you and us into more than conquerors, victorious, not victims anymore. God promised us many blessings as we actively trust Him and walk with Him. Psalm 34 speaks a lot about this. But we fear because many of us keep having a partial or incomplete knowledge of Christ or God, and fear attacks us. Be encouraged that once those three steps are completed, the path to success and freedom becomes indeed much more clear for us. With the world in constant changes, It's never been more important to have freedom, unity, accountability, and next-level strategies in order to actually get results. In other words, there has never been a more crucial time than right now to get a high-level result on protecting freedom, your freedom, and our freedom. If you are looking for more success in your business, your family, stronger relationship, a more positive mindset in Christ, or the age to win when winning seems impossible nowadays, protecting freedom is the essence for your life. Your freedom and America's freedom cannot wait. It's time for us to add, to take actions now. So to make this practical in your life, think about what step or steps are you going to make to live free? What stops you from taking those steps or actions? Share your answers in the comments below. We love to hear from you. Or if you want or need more help, go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash freedom coaching. We will help you. We can help you learn to connect your faith and your daily actions. Please choose freedom in Christ to live free indeed, and be patient with yourself because this is a journey. Just stop for a second and imagine a year from now. What could your life, your family, health, your business community, or even our country be like if you start today making those steps? I'm here to help you. In the past 30 years or so, I have helped thousands of people just like you to go from living in fear to freedom, from being lost to finding their purpose in life, from a scary unknown to building their bright future. And I'm here 
to help you or your group, your school, your church, your company, or your community. Picture a day when you will feel on the top of the world, free, not fearful anymore. Picture a day when your family will say, you radiate freedom. Teach us to do the same. Picture a day when you will know that you are a free person indeed and an overcomer. I'm here to help you to learn to live in freedom and to experience the exact results you are craving. For that, please go to virginiapradanbooks.com slash freedom coaching and we will help you. Or you can go to order a signed copy of Saving My Assassin and to be encouraged that all that I explain can be done. And for that, go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book and order your book or more. Until our next Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan podcast, each Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time, be blessed and keep in touch. Live in freedom. We are here to help you. If you want to know more about Virginia Prodan, her coaching program, buy her book, Saving My Assassin, or invite Virginia to speak at your events, visit virginiaprodanbooks.com.